Hello, and welcome to Select 10. If you're a frequent Netflix viewer, and you're struggling in finding any new, excellent movies, then sit back and enjoy. This video showcases an amazing selection of Netflix movies covering all genres, including mind-bending sci-fi, touching dramas, and riveting thrillers that you shouldn't miss. Number 10. Miss Bala. It is a 2019 action thriller film, directed by Catherine Hardwick. The main character of the story is Gloria Fuentes, a Los Angeles-based cosmetics expert, who travels to Tijuana in order to assist her friend Suzu. However, when they attend a nightclub, they get caught up in a cartel gunfight, and Suzu vanishes. Following this, Gloria finds herself forced into working for the La Estrella gang as a way to protect Suzu, while she becomes more deeply involved in their business. Throughout this perilous adventure, Gloria attempts to rescue her friend, while split between the authorities and the drug lords. The film's strongest quality is its harsh tone, which captures the awful circumstances and conflict within the cartel's society. Despite its ambitious goals, the movie falls short in terms of complexity and rhythm, and parts of the plot are cliched. Gloria's change seemed forced at times, and the tension between the cartel and the police is not given enough attention. Though its repetitive plot and undeveloped characters prevent Miss Bala from being completely memorable, it is nevertheless a good action thriller that emphasizes survival and resistance overall. Action movie enthusiast would enjoy it, but it doesn't have the depth that would have set it apart. Number 9. The Takedown. It is a 2022 action comedy film, directed by Louis Lederier. The plot revolves around Ausmane Diakite and Francois Monge, who served as police officers together years ago, but have since separated. However, they have to reunite when an inquiry into a murder puts them together, setting off a string of thrilling adventures across France. The inquiry takes a more sinister turn when they discover a large-scale neo-Nazi plan and have to set aside their disagreements in order to capture the offenders. The film combines fast-paced action, car pursuits with humor and action. The elegant setting of France is stunningly captured, enhancing the film's stylish high-stakes action. Although there is humor and enjoyment in the movie, the buddy cop cliches in the plot make it quite predictable. The movie makes an effort to examine weighty subjects like racism and corruption, but it generally stays on a surface level, which limits the possibility of a more intricate story. Overall, it is a fun action comedy, thanks to its likable actors and entertaining action moments. Fans of the buddy cop type will find it easy to watch, but neither the storytelling nor the social critique are particularly innovative. Number 8. Smile. It is a 2022 supernatural horror film, directed by Parker Finn. The narrative centers on professional psychiatrist Dr. Rose Cotter, whose patient dies away with an odd smile. This horrible event sets off a series of events in Rose's life, as she continues to have nightmares of individuals smiling unsettlingly at her. As she looks further, she finds a pattern of related incidents, in which people who saw someone die while smiling soon experience the same outcomes. Determined to end the vicious cycle, Rose looks into its roots, which leads her to face her own childhood trauma. The jump scares are well-timed, but the real fear is in the way the tension slowly builds, as Rose's nightmare becomes more and more real. While the film's examination of trauma is fascinating, there are moments when it seems like a superficial story that uses trauma more as an instrumental tool. Despite this, Sosie Bacon gives a powerful performance that helps Smile make a terrifying supernatural thriller. Even though it follows well-worn horror tropes, its psychological trauma research and potent scares make it a valuable addition to the genre. Number 7. The Resistance Banker. It is a 2018 World War II period drama film, directed by Joram Lurson. The film takes place in Nazi-occupied Amsterdam and chronicles Walraven Van Hall, a banker who joins the Dutch Resistance. Using his knowledge, Van Hall creates a cunning financial plan to steal funds from the Dutch Central Bank and use them to strengthen the resistance effort. However, as the Nazi occupation grows more intense, Van Hall finds himself in more perilous situations and must weigh the necessity of fighting back against the possibility of being discovered by the Nazis. The film evokes the bleak mood of wartime Amsterdam, employing subdued colors to express the dismal reality of the Nazi occupation. The historical detail is impressive and creates an immersive atmosphere that increases the narrative's intensity. The movie works well as a historical drama, but it places a lot more emphasis on the financial processes than on the human consequences of resistance, which could make some viewers feel emotionally detached from the story. However, taken as a whole, it offers a unique perspective on World War II, via the eyes of resistance and finance. It may be a little exhausting at times, but it's still an amazing ode to the forgotten heroes who stood up to Nazi oppression by using their intelligence rather than their strength. Number 6. He Never Died. It is a 2015 horror comedy film, directed by Jason Krawczyk. 
The plot focuses around Jack, an immortal being, who resides in loneliness, cut off from the majority of humanity. But when his daughter Andrea, who has been missing for a long time, returns, everything changes. On the other hand, Jack's aggressive instincts emerge when a local criminal organization attacks him, resulting in a series of horrific conflicts. The story revolves around his battles with his lust for blood and alienation from mankind, which lead to him confronting his violent sight in an effort to keep his daughter safe. The supernatural aspects are subtle and the violence is severe, with the emphasis being more on Jack's inner struggle than on eye-catching effects. The film's essence lies in Henry Rollins' performance of Jack. His grim, somber voice gives the persona a touch of threat, in addition to wickedness. Although the film gives a distinctive perspective on the horror genre, not everyone will find its simple premise to be engaging. The film's balance of ominous humor and violence worked well, but its independent nature may make it feel inconsistent at times. However, fans of unusual horror will value its distinctiveness. Number 5. What Happened to Monday? It is a 2017 dystopian science fiction action thriller film, directed by Tommy Wirtola. The movie is situated in a future where overpopulation is a problem and stringent one-child policies are enforced by the government. The main focus is on Terence Setman, who hides his seven twin granddaughters and names them after each day of the week. On the day of their name, each sister is permitted to go outside while posing as Karen Setman. However, after Monday disappears, the other six sisters have to work together to solve her disappearance puzzle. As they explore, they learn startling details about Monday's fate and how far the authorities will go to keep power. The visual effects employed to generate seven different versions of Numi Rapus are flawless, enabling each sister to have her own identity despite their identical looks. The movie has an interesting premise, but in the second half, it veers too far into the action thriller area, which takes away from the dystopian setting's appealing elements. Overall, it is a high-concept sci-fi thriller that combines action with thought-provoking societal critique. Even though it falls short of realizing the full promise of its original idea, Numi Rapace's dynamic performance elevates the film to a solid level. Number 4. Hell or High Water. It is a 2016 neo-western crime drama film, directed by David McKenzie. The plot follows Toby Howard and his brother Tanner as they embark on a string of bank robberies across West Texas to pay off their family's debts. Their mission is to prevent the foreclosure on their mother's property, a legacy of their family. Meanwhile, Marcus Hamilton, a Texas ranger, and Alberto, his partner, are pursuing the burglars with the goal of apprehending them before they can fulfill their frantic plan. The film effectively conveys the immense bleak landscape of rural Texas, and action scenes are grounded and tense, depending more on realism than spectacle. The movie does a good job of conveying a small-scale, yet incredibly poignant tale about family, despair, and rural America's economic hardships. The film explores the motivations of both the lawmen and the thieves, with considerable nuance, alternating between violent heist sequences and peaceful periods of observation. Overall, it's an expertly designed neo-western that combines action and social critique. It stands out among other films because of its powerful performances and emotionally driven story, which will appeal to fans of westerns movies. Number 3. Caliber. It is a 2018 psychological thriller film, directed by Matt Palmer. The narrative centers on two close friends, Vaughn and Marcus, who want to go hunting in a secluded community in the Scottish Highlands. Shortly, when Vaughn unintentionally shoots a person while hunting, their weekend trip takes a terrifying turn. Marcus chooses to hide the accident out of fear, but what starts out as a terrible error becomes into a labyrinth of lies and anxiety as the two friends attempt to hide what happened from the curious locals. The connection between Vaughn and Marcus is fundamental to the film's drama, their friendship is put to the test in ways that highlight both of their virtues and shortcomings, which deepens the story as their mental health declines. It is a slow-burning thriller that skillfully increases suspense from the first to a genuinely gripping and intensely emotional conclusion. Overall, it is a solid psychological thriller that provides a riveting look at how one catastrophic decision may set off a series of horrifying consequences. It stands out from other thrillers in the genre, owing to its ethical richness and psychological intensity. Number 2. Nocturnal Animals. It is a 2016 neo-noir psychological thriller film, directed by Tom Ford. The story centers on Susan Morrow, an unhappy manager of an art gallery, who gets a manuscript from her long-absent ex-husband, Edward Sheffield. The book, Nocturnal Animals, pays tribute to her and narrates the story of Tony Hastings, a father whose family holiday descends into chaos when a gang kidnaps and murders his wife and daughter. Through scenes from the past, we discover about Susan and Edward's broken marriage, her dishonesty, and the lasting effects it had on both of them.
It is a carefully crafted movie that skillfully blends two parallel tales, one true, one made up, into a profound reflection on regret and vengeance. Because of its cerebral story structure, the movie may not to appeal to all, but its complex topics and visual storytelling provide an engaging, thought-provoking experience. Overall, it is a frightening and brilliantly written psychological thriller that explores the emotional complexity of love, betrayal, and retribution. It's a film that sticks in your head long after the credits have rolled, thanks to its distinctive narrative structure. Number 1. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. It I an animated dark fantasy film, directed by Guillermo del Toro and Mark Gustafsson. The movie is set in Italy during the World War and follows Geppetto, a woodcarver who loses his son, Carlo, in war. In a state of booze, Geppetto creates Pinocchio, a puppet made of wood that is given life by a mysterious wood fairy. After witnessing Geppetto's suffering, Pinocchio sets out on a quest to transform into a genuine boy, but he faces many obstacles along the way. The stop-motion animation in the movie is simply amazing. Each frame is precisely created, showcasing intricate character designs and moody backdrops that vividly depict Italy in the 1930s. The movie has a whimsical yet eerie look that is characteristic of Del Toro's dark and magical visual style. In general, it is a daring retelling of a well-known story that introduces gloom not often found in earlier versions. It differs from other experiences because it delves further into philosophy and explores themes such as fascism, mortality, and the fragility of life. Additionally, the film's darker tone may not appeal to younger audiences who are used to a more amusing interpretation of the story, but it is still one of the most unique and memorable Pinocchio adaptations. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.